Welcome. First of all, I'd like to apologize for not releasing a video for such a long time. There are no excuses for something that I am passionate about. And second of all, let's get straight into the video and speak about Helium, specifically Helium Mobile. In this video, I'll be covering one Helium changes, two maximizing IoT rewards, three Helium Mobile, and four my honest opinions and predictions of Helium. So let's get straight into the video. One, Helium changes. As you all know, Helium has changed its business focus. Whether this was planned or it was via trial and error or identifying new opportunities, this affects us all, especially if we've made investments. Initially, the whole purpose of Helium was to build out a decentralized network using IoT hotspots. This network was supposed to fully provide coverage and a solid connection for IoT devices such as GPS trackers, air quality monitors and more. Yes, they nearly were able to reach 1 million hotspots worldwide, but the demand for IoT in general and the use of the Helium network is still not where it needs to be. To keep it simple, Helium started off with IoT, then they swayed into 5G, and now they are putting most of their attention into Helium Mobile. So where we stand today is IoT is nowhere near as profitable as it used to be, but how can we still maximize our IoT rewards? It used to be all about upgrading your setup and providing best coverage to then maximize your rewards. However, today this is not the case. I still have around eight IoT miners running. Most of them have been upgraded and totally they are earning around $40 per month. I know this is nothing compared back to the early days. However, I don't need to do anything with these miners anymore and they are just bringing in some passive revenue per month. So the best way I maximize my IoT rewards is not by cashing them out. It's actually by converting them to Helium Mobile, HNT or Solana. This can be done in seconds within the Helium Wallet app. Then I take profits when the market pumps, such as times like these. The reason I don't hold IoT for a long period of time is because Helium is not putting much of its concentration on IoT anymore. So the best bet is to place these tokens into cryptos which have much more potential of an increase. Yes, IoT might flourish in the future, but in the meantime, the energy, the time and the money Helium are spending is going to be on expanding Helium Mobile. Which brings me on to point three, Helium Mobile. Nova Labs, also known as Helium, recognize that they have a business model that works, which is incentivizing users to build out an infrastructure and then they reward them with crypto tokens. They did the same with IoT miners, they did the same with 5G miners, and now they are doing the same with Helium mobile hotspots. What they are doing correct this time around is that they are starting off small. They are focusing on building out city by city, starting off in the Miami-Dade County area. Their objective is straightforward. They are trying to build out a network of Helium Mobile hotspots, and these hotspots will ultimately provide coverage to those who are subscribed to the Helium Mobile plan. Users who will install these hotspots will earn mobile tokens for offloading data and users who are subscribed to the Helium mobile plan which is currently $20 a month will earn rewards for discovery mapping. This is a feature which helps Helium gather data and to better understand where it's beneficial for Helium mobile hotspots to be placed. So unfortunately for those who are outside of the US mobile tokens still cannot be mined however IoT can be still converted to mobile token. Which brings me on to number four. Where is Helium going and what are my honest predictions? I've broken this down into four simple points. First of all, for Helium to see an uprise, they need to get Miami right. They need to onboard hotspots across the whole state and have thousands of users subscribed to the Helium mobile plan and using the service. By starting small, this will allow them to really build and develop and identify challenges and tackle these with good solutions. 
Second of all, they need to identify their target market, those who are deploying hotspots and those who are using the data plans. A $20 data plan is a really good bang for your buck, but it's not a sustainable solution for a long period of time. So for those who don't want any involvement in the crypto space and are subscribing just because of the price, Helium needs to make it easy as ABC to bring them on board and really provide them a good understanding of the power of incentivizing them with the mobile token. My third point would be Helium need to market aggressively within the Miami area. They have started tactical sponsorships, however they need much more to really attract users to build and use the service. My last point would be they need to keep strong relationships with T-Mobile and telecom giants as it is hard to build out a Helium mobile network without having a cellular carrier to fall back on. If all of these points flourish and we see great expansion one step at a time, HMT and the mobile token can be a very profitable cryptocurrency. So to summarize, if you're mining IoT, try to convert your tokens when you feel the time is right. And if you have the opportunity to mine Helium Mobile in the Miami area, this is a good opportunity to do so as it is still early. And in a few months time, it's gonna be much longer to break even. If you want to dig deeper, I have left all the relevant info in the links below. Just bear in mind that these are my personal predictions and not investment ones. I really do appreciate your time and I will be back with more Helium and crypto content. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.